How's it going everybody? Rick here, 24 foot Hydrosport. Today we're going to show you how to put a rub rail all along the Hydrosport after your rub rail was damaged or you just want to replace it with a different color. Okay, so the rub rail comes with two different pieces. This being the lower insert, which goes all along here as you can see this, and I'll show you how we screw that in. It's basically just a poly plastic and it, obviously it's waterproof and it doesn't rot in the water. So we go ahead and we screw this onto the side of the boat after the entire old rub rail has been removed. And uh, after we slide this all along, we'll show you how we do that. We pre-drill into the center and we screw it in with stainless steel screws. Then we're gonna go ahead and rub, uh, take the rub rail and basically place it on the channel that we have here all the way around the boat. We'll go ahead and screw one in right now and show you. Basically I'm using 3 16 uh, drill bit and you'll see be able to tell which side of the lip goes up underneath the rub rail where your cap comes in. So uh, the bottom is a contour, it has a lip that's sticking out and that goes up against your lip on your cap of your, of your top side of your boat. We'll go ahead and drill one of these in. And then you're just going to screw it in. We're going we're gonna to do this all the way around the boat and then we'll slide along the uh, rub rail. Pre-drilling it well, once every three to four inches and then we're putting a stainless screw in about inch and a quarter, inch and a half screw. Make sure that, that bottom lip is sitting right up underneath the underside of that top cap of your boat. No way you can really screw it up. We'll go work ourselves way around the boat. As the boat contours, you'll see I'll make certain cuts on the rub rail skeleton here, and we'll go from there. So we're at the transom on the boat, and here's my uh, six foot piece of plastic under skeleton, I call it. And as you see the lip, again, there's a lip that goes on the outside of it that's more pronounced than the top side of it. That lip is always gonna go to the bottom side of your cap here. Now, as you can see, this area right here is contoured, or has a curve to it. So I wanna make sure that I do not go up like this because my the, the rub rail isn't pliable to make a curve like that. So what you need to do is you need to take small turns. So what you'll see is I'll piece this in together here by very small cuts. And it'll be one by one turning very slowly. So what I'll do is I'll place this here because that is about where the, the bend starts, okay? And down here on the bottom, where my bend starts again, I'm gonna make a little mark and I'm gonna take my rub rail and I'm gonna simply put a mark where I need to cut it. Now it's a straight cut down and you'll see what I mean after I cut it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that now and we'll place it up there in one second. So as you can see, I have my two marks here and here. So, and you can see the cut, it's about a 45 degree cut, probably a little bit more like a 55, 60. Does it have to be a 45 degree? No, it could be a 30 degree, it could be a 20 degree, whatever. As long as it fits the contour that you need it to go to for your curvature of your, of your transom here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our drill bit, put it up to our lines mark, screw the top one in. So I have my, my drill there. Go ahead and we'll line it up with the screw. Now that's in, I'll go ahead and do the middle and we'll work around the back. Okay, so I went ahead and I did a little bit more here. As you can see, the contour of the boat is round there. So you gotta cut up three, four different pieces and get those installed there. Continue with a straight piece going to the end cap that you'll see in, a, in the later video. See how I did that, it's the contour of the boat and those two pieces right there. And as we go up, you'll see another two pieces there. So at all the bends and all the turns, you have brakes and our rub rail will slip right on top of this. Now this system is great because after, if for, for instance your rub rail gets damaged, you can just slide it off and slide a new one on. You don't have to take off all the screws and redo everything. So as you see here, uh, I have stopped to show you how I'm doing this. 
Now the front is very crucial, it needs to be done right. As you can see, I have this piece right here. I'm gonna go ahead and start right here, continue on how I did the other side. And it's gonna be all individual pieces between this point here and the new rub rail uh, skeleton that I'm putting in on this side. So on this side, I'm gonna match it up as how far it is off the front there. It's about right, right there. right on as you can see it's giving us a real nice bend here and we're just duplicating what we did on the port side of the boat to the starboard side of the boat and we'll continue to go ahead and just pre-drill and screw pre-drill and screw okay so now we're gonna go ahead and continue on a lot easier if you have two people holding it I don't so I gotta work through it. As you can see, we placed our third long and final strip here. And right here is where it starts to contour. Now, I don't need to cut it because it's right at the lip, but if it was back here where it started to bend, we would need to cut it. You can cut it with a razor knife. If you want to cut it with a grinder, a grinder's what I use. So the grinder will cut it right there. But this will fit nicely and our, our rub rail will go on nicely and it'll... Okay, we're back again, day two. We're gonna continue to screw everything in and uh, work around the back transom area here. Okay, now just like before, we're gonna take our channel skeleton here, we're gonna place it up against the bottom railing of the transom there, match it up to the edge here so that it's flush, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut the end off where we need it to cut off before we place it on the back of the transom. So we stick this up here. Mark it. That's done, now we're gonna piece it by cutting little small little pieces with our grinder. And we're gonna place these like so, so we get our little bend as you can see. And then we'll continue them on the curve. Here's another little tip. As you can see, I pre-drilled the holes along the center there because it's very hard, very hard to go ahead and hold those still while you're using an impact driver to screw it into the fiberglass. It can uh, fly off, spin off, and also cut you. So I'd recommend doing it like this, pre-drill it, then cut it to the little pieces.
Now I'm sure you get an idea of what I'm trying to show you here. You can see that it's curved just like that. And we'll continue on over here and up. Piece here, right before the arc here, as you can see, right before it goes up, go ahead and screw that in. Okay, again, same thing. Beyond the curvature, just below of where it starts to curve and where it starts to curve on the bottom or you can go from the bottom up. Bottom up is a little bit easier. Um, so I'm gonna mark it right here. And now finally the application. So you pretty much just take it and you, as you're bending it, it folds right on. You know, it's not hard at all. This stuff is really easy application. In the corners you can see, they need a little bit of work, but not much. Just make sure that you're getting them on the top and the bottom. Remember, you can always adjust if you have to. I know it sucks, you gotta pull screws out and reset them, but you can always adjust them. This is lining up real nice. You can see that, it's giving us a nice round contour there. And this stuff just goes on like paint on a wall. Looks pretty good.